sitting next to bedrock, where are we standing? Ground level. And they say this is 3,000 years old, it's 2,000 years old, you don't cover up your water source, there is ground level. If he is tried down the street, out there is the tower that's left, that's the gate, this is the passageway that goes right above us. It doesn't get much more clear when you take archaeology and scripture. So, so this cistern, this cistern, not geographically speaking. Right. So this cistern is three thousand years old, according to Shimon Gibson. Shimon Gibson, Hebrew University, and and this and this was discovered by uh, Conrad Schick, the guy right here. Yes, and about one hundred and sixty years ago. Yeah, eighteen sixty something like that. All right, and, and then rediscovered by somebody fifteen years ago. We discovered by us 15 years ago. By the Armenians. By, uh, no, by us. Oh, by us. Okay. okay. Because we bought Christ the church. Yeah, Christ we, church. Okay. Yeah, we bought the, we bought the uh, coffee shop in 2000, and then we figured out that there was a room down here because of Conrad Schick's model. Okay. Now, Shimon Gibson and David Amit. Da David, David Amit has passed away. Oh, he was a brilliant archaeologist. So is Shimon Gibson. They have a 37-page article on the water systems of Jerusalem. So you've got a lower aqueduct thing that you know about that goes to the Temple Mount. The upper aqueduct comes, they both aqueducts come from Hebron. These are springs. Remember, Abraham goes and finds the Seth Bereshev and Hebron, right? All these natural springs come to these three pools, which are outside. We can't, I can't go there. This is area A. We're forbidden from going. Y'all have to take armed guards with you. They're still there. But these three pools fill these two aqueducts. And what's amazing is you've got 100 feet between here and Jerusalem. So if they're able to tilt these aqueducts, these Roman aqueducts, there's pieces of it, to create enough pressure that you have to have couplings. And what's really cool is they would, uh, whoever built that particular coupling would have to put his name on it. So when the commander is told out in the middle of the desert that if one coupling broke, when they find out the name on the coupling, they either kill him or they send him out to the desert to go fix the work that he was uh, dissatisfaction on, unworkmanlike uh, work. So these two aqueducts come through Bethlehem. They come through the Hill of Evil Council. This is where the United Nations is. You can go and see yeah. this. You've probably done that. The upper aqueduct comes to the Momilla Pool. The Momilla Pool fills up. Have you been to the Momilla Pool? No. Uh, it's right down the street. It's 12 minutes away. It's okay. the size of two football fields. 100 feet deep. There's an old flight of stairs that you can walk down in there. It's really fun. This Momilla Pool fills up. We have a small aqueduct that fills the... Hezekiah Pool, nothing to do with King Hezekiah, it's simply a name. It's by the Petra Hotel. You go to Petra, pay five shekel, you can go and look at this thing. This water filled up this and all of this palace area where we are standing. Sandy. Then this water, you go down inside of the cistern. That cistern, there's a picture of it right over here. Look at this picture. Look how big the cistern is. That man is six feet tall. That's it's gotta be, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 feet high. Um, the room itself is humongous. Attached to that cistern is an overflow valve halfway up. Just like in your sink, there's an overflow valve, a little black hole, right? right. The water rises. What happens to the dirt and silt? It goes to the bottom. The clean water overflows into the passageway, which is in number 11 right there. That water is living water. It goes to the temple. This passageway and that cistern would have had to be kept clean by who? us Jews. We'd have been the ones down in there. The plaster that's on the walls today is still Byzantine. Okay. They were still using this 1700 years ago. Heck, they were using it probably 150 years ago, no problem. But it was covered up. Schick had to discover so this room was full of debris. I think. He enters because of Josephus Flavius' writings. 